tabular presentation of data we understand that data can be presented in three forms in which one of the form is presentation of the data in tabular form which is also otherwise called as tabulation so what is tabulation tabulation is nothing but systematic presentation of data you are going to present the data in a systematic way by using what is known as statistics table so this table will have certain number of rows it will have certain number of columns it will have a reference number then it will have description it will have a caption and so on so in this table you will present uh, a lot of information but in a single shot in a snapshot so that is the beauty of tabular presentation of data so there are certain guidelines for tabular presentation of data what are those guidelines we'll see one by one number one this tabular data or tabulation should be allotted a serial number say something like you should have serial number like uh, say table a or you should say table number one in that way you should allot a serial number for the table number two the table should have certain parts so what are those parts let's see one by one number one the table should have what is known as caption the table should have caption so what is this caption caption is nothing but upper part of the table caption is nothing but upper part of the table and second the table should have what is known as box head so what is this box head box head is the entire upper part of the table entire upper part of the table which will contain columns it will contain sub columns then it will also have units of measurement with uh, captions so the table should contain caption number one number two it should have box head number three the table should contain stub so what is this stub stub is something what we see on the left side of the table which is going to define each and every row in the table and the fourth part which is very important part in a table is body of the table so what is this body of the table body of the table is nothing but main part of the table that is going to contain the substance for which the table is created and uh, the third guideline for creating table is the length and breadth of the table should be well balanced in such a way that it is appealing number one number two you can infer the data without spending much time and labor on the table next next guideline is the table should be arranged intelligently and it should be well balanced sequence i mean it should have well balanced sequence so the presentation is appealing and capturing the attention wherever required immediately and number 5 there should be i'm sorry i'll repeat there should be notes forming part of the table which should define from where the data is provided in the table that is the note should explain source of the table so that it will bring in clarity about the rows and columns which you are talking about in the table and it can also provide certain footnote so that it will give more amount of clarity let us see how a typical statistics table will look like this table is one example for how a typical statistics table will look like now this table has what is known as the table serial number here you find like a table 10.10 so it is the serial number of the table then we can give caption to the table say for example i'll give the caption status of workers status of workers of x limited based on union membership based on union membership so there is a company called x limited and they have workers so they are now going to study their workers based on whether they are member of a union or they are not member of the union so this is called caption of the ta table then you have what is known as the box head so this 
row and this row all items are called box head because they they guide or they are responsible for the columns and columns in the table so these are all called i mean the the row which stands for status i mean status member non member total and year mft mft all these are all called box heads then we have uh, the data here that is say on the left side you have information relating to 2013 you have information relating to 2014 so these two items are defining the rows defining two rows so they are called a stub and the information which is provided here the information which is provided here is the body of the table because they can they convey the information or the data that is required and in this table you have categorized the members or the workers into member non member male female total total male member total female member then uh, how many members are in union how many members are not in union how many were in 2013 how many were in 2014 so all this information were bundled and compressed and presented in a single table so that is the beauty of table and that's why it is given more importance in statistics